We got something super exclusive for you guys. We've been trying to get clearance to air this for the past month. It's RWB at Stewart's. Yes, we are going to show you an RWB Porsche build that's done at Stewart's Paint and Body Shop. Incredible, check it out. Okay, so we're, we're at Stewart's Paint and Body. Me and Stewart have been personal friends. I think I was about 10 years old. Like I've mentioned many, many times, best paint work in DFW, might be the best paint work in the world. This is where you go for Ferrari collision work, Porsche collision work, and incredible restoration work. We generally have one or two cars in here at all times. At all times. There's one in here I don't even know that you know that we have. I'm sure I don't. Okay. <laughs> but the reason we're here is RWB is here in the Kai with Rowelt. You guys don't know who that is, you must live under a loaf of bread. Let's go see what's going on. So I've always been a fan of the Testarossa. Had a ton of them. Generally have one or two in process. Kelsey, I don't think you've seen this car. I haven't seen it. I think I saw it when you bought it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Disregard the wheels that are on it. Those are just rollers. So what we've done to this car, drive trains out of it, motor transmission, which we always have Norwood Auto Italia go through that. Full blown service and full show quality detail. From there, we take the car to Sub-Zero, Fred Jonathan Edwards. The entire chassis gets dry iced. I mean, we go crazy on it. So this entire chassis, front to back, has been dry iced. We've had the floors out of it, reworked the floors, all that stuff's back in it, and now you can look, Stuart has redone all the chassis paint. So look underneath this car. It is gonna be amazing. And the other thing is, these cars from the factory, Kelsey, have got a lot of undercoating on them. It just kind of all over the place. We've removed all that. So you can look at everything that's CAD plated, zinc plated. We've left it all exposed. Instead of being undercoated, so I think it looks much better. The shocks were leaving the factory color. I don't like all the undercoating on it. You can see all this gold CAD plating in here. So this car, when we're done with it, basically looked like the day it rolled off the showroom floor, but cleaner and you can see more aspects of what colors are supposed to be because it's not undercoated. Now they're generally banged up up here where Stuart has straightened out the louvers. Uh, Only after you drive them. <laughs> so now what he's doing is the bumpers are off and the rockers are going to get painted. So the bump of the lower on this car is black. The rockers are black yeah. down here. Now somebody at some point in time painted these red, okay, which, is, which, is weird. which is not correct. Yeah. Uh, the interior is out. Any interior repairs have already been done by DTS. The interior is done. Uh, the motor transmission service is done. It's over doors, so it's waiting on this. So as soon as Stuart has the lower parameters of the car painted, it'll go back over to Norwoods. Motor transmission go back in, interior goes back in it, and then Zach gets to spend about two days photographing it. <laughs> so check out the chassis work, it looks killer. The other thing is, is when you come in here, Kelsey, to do a full AC service on these cars, so you look at this firewall and all this stuff up here, all these lines are AC, you have to have the engine out. And also to do it, the other part of the AC service, you have to have the dash completely out, which we do. So we've been able to service this air conditioner this car 100%. That's why it's not always being able to afford a Ferrari, it's being able to afford to drive a Ferrari. Well, a yes. It, well, I mean, this car's a 91, so you want to, you know, to do this big of a service on one, it's literally got to come apart. But every bit of this has been dry iced. It just looks beautiful. So that's what we have at Stewart's now. There's generally two cars here, but it's only one we have here now. Next, we're waiting for Stuart. We're gonna go see the RWB. Among famous high school buddy. I don't, that's right. Among having the best body shop and paint shop in the world. Yeah, okay. Who's got the Who's got the higher tan well, here? Pretty close. This is from Texas. Now you were where? Yeah, that's uh, Bahamas. That's yeah. Amazing. But I don't know if that's fair because a lot of people. Well, everybody around does know. We don't this. want. We don't want to put my tan in here. But Stuart's always been one of the best barefoot water skiers in the world. He still is. Uh, one of the. It's a small cult, so I'll, I'll take that. There's very few barefoot. Well, but so. for our age. Yeah. You're yeah. pushing 60. I am 60. You are? Oh, he is 60. Look at that. You're the first one there. Still, uh, still skiing on the feet. Well, I understand yeah. the, the last competition, you crushed it. Senior men's world's uh, top six in the world. Top six in the world. 11th overall. He didn't know this was coming. This guy will never brag yeah. on himself, so yeah. I'm going to brag on A bunch of old guys, though. So. Myself, for him. <laughs> for sure. Let's go see this hard day. We, we looked at the test drone. Yeah, so. what did you, what did you I think? I think it's what great. Think? It's think? exactly what I want. I think we get the black dot on the bottom, we go put the motor transmission back in it, put the interior back in it, and see where we're at after that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I told everybody to disregard these ugly wheels. Yeah. They're not staying. Yeah, yeah. They cleaned up really well. Uh, but what I told Kelsey is to, you know, to make these cars right, they gotta come this far apart. 
Yeah, for sure. And you always do them right, and then send it out and having it um, dry as plastic. Makes a big difference to you, doesn't yeah, it? Bottom, yeah, it makes it easier for us to come back and do some small paint work that we did. And it wasn't much, Dennis, that we needed to do, but just to get it to your standard and make it how you want it. I like to go um, down and come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll talk to Kelsey real quick about the AC in these cars. You, know, you can't do the full AC service with the motor in it. Then you can't do the full AC service with the dash in it. The dash is out, DTS redid it. Obviously, Michael and James have got the motor transmission yeah. from Norwood. Yeah. I'm excited this is coming along. I almost always have a car in your shop lingering around somewhere. Don't you I? do, you do. We, uh, I like it. We, you know, we, we'll go a month and not talk to each other. But I love you. Drop them off. You don't, you don't beat me up about it. Just hey, when it's done, it's done. So we, you know, I use the word organically. We get to do the work for you and let it happen organically, and no pressures, and just you know, do what we do here. And a lot of do time, what you do. A lot of times in the paint world, though, when you're rushing something, that's not a good idea. No, no. We've talked about. I think you know, there's a saying. You know, people want stuff right now. I just say you want it right or now, you can't use both words in the same sentence. That's great. It just doesn't work. So It's just like Jeep and Jeep rhyme, but they don't really go together right, anymore. Right, yeah. so I think Jeeps aren't cheap anymore. Yeah. You want it right or you want it right now? It's going to be, it's kind of the kind of thing. But, you uh, guys ha are not familiar with RWB or Nakai. All Porsche guys are. Most sports car guys are, but any car guy, if you're not familiar with it, you got to look at his Instagram page. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. There's, you know, there's lovers and haters, you know, that's, uh, you know, the purists. Of course, you guys sometimes it's like ouch, you know, cutting cutting the quarter panels and putting his body kit on there. Um, Correct me but, if I'm wrong uh, on this, but didn't you restore RWB one? Yes, we did. The RWB one, which was um, I think 14 years ago, it was built. It was the first RWB for the U.S. and it was at SEMA. And uh, super cool car. We uh, restored it for a client about five years ago. You know, I remember walking in your shop. I don't remember what I had over there at the time, but I think, what were you working on for me then? Oh, we were working on the F40, weren't we? It might have been the F40. Anyways, I walked out, I'm like, that is not what I think it is. He yeah. goes, yep, yeah. that's the first one. Yeah, Pandora was, um, I think that it's had a couple different body kits, changes on it, but it was black, and then it went kind of a candy green, and then from that, it went to, uh, my analogy is like a khaki color with a little little bit of a green tint to it. And then the client that purchased it and brought it to Dallas, um, just, we blew it all apart and uh, changed the color. Is this the uh, third RWB car that's been in your shop? I know no, I've seen this, at least this two is, over this there. This is the second one. It's only the second one? Okay. second one. So number yeah. one was the only one that's been over that's there? That's been in our shop. Well, then I think I've seen yeah. it over there with just different colors. Yeah. So yeah. I've seen it more than once. Yeah. I think you did when you came in, it was the, 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 the color uh, previous, just before the the blue that it is now. So let's go check it out. Yeah, it just so happens it's here. Uh, we literally just found that. All right, Kelsey. Stuart, wait, your company started in what year? Uh, late 83. So you, in mine was three. So Stuart started his own company in 83. We started in October of 84. Well, you're still in high school, that's why. Yep, yep, I got my business I, I license. I graduated before you. I got so, my business so license and my business license. That's why I one year ahead of you. No, <laughs> I'm trying to get him our time. In 84, so we're one year away. Pretty sure I copied Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was always the artsy guy and was always switched on and stuff like that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see if we can find the picture that hat I sent you. We can that into that. So me and Stuart have been good friends for a long, long time. Yeah, we'll All right, now what did the RWB? Oh, secret. All right, Stuart, real quick. We were just talking about Pandora 1. Yes. Okay, yeah. so that's the first RWB in the U.S. Yeah, it was the first one built for the U.S. Yeah. 14 yeah. years ago. So this is not a new fad. It's not a fad. I shouldn't even say that. This is yeah. not a new thing. No. no it's, uh, uh, any of you guys that Google up Pandora 1, it's social media-wise, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big thing. It um, is a big thing. Those of you that follow this cult and, and uh, culture, so this is well after DP started, but way before Singer, way before Go the Works. It's, those are great cars. Yeah. But this is the vision early on. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty special. Uh, I mean, you see that on the street 14 years ago. That's a trick. Yeah, yeah. And it, I've, I've had the pleasure of driving it. And, uh, one of the things that we did uh, with this uh, ducktail that's on it, because we also have the wing that's a similar wing to this the RWV that's sitting next to it, but what we surprised the client is we actually cut this out by hand and uh, put the screen 
you know, the little dot in between you know, the R and the B. And then um, there's an LED light that's behind it. So at night when you're driving it, you slip it on and it glows. It's pretty, pretty cool. So this is like a 73 RSR ducktail or yes. similar? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a really big motor. Check it out. I'm going to zoom in on this. Check out the engine. <laughs> What's going on with the motor now? Uh, it's getting a full rebuild. Okay. The client that owns it is, is, is fresh in everything now. It's a little difficult to tell on camera, but again, Stewart's paintwork is the absolute best. Yeah, some neat, neat, neat touches. The mirror was deleted. Yeah, it's, you see, put the, the stuff on the front. And then, uh, I know you've driven this. Yes. How does yeah. it track? It's like uh, it's it's an interesting. It's pretty choppy. Um, if you're driven on the streets, the uh, the turbo, the pop off valve on this thing, when when you release the throttle, it just pop. It makes some really cool noises. I like that. Uh, fun to drive. You just got the long nose. Very cool. Sure. Yeah. You know those. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so you've got a lot of 73 RSR aspects in it. Yes. Yeah. And one of the things that you can see with this, uh, the car that's sitting next to it, if you look at the flares on the front fenders, that's where um, to do the long nose. Uh, the guy was just explaining to me is how um, the flares got to come down and continue and then meet up with the bumper. That's a little bit uh, more difficult. Yeah. A you lot see more the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with the side marker, and then he's got the he's got the grills. In here. There's, so there's, there's got to be very few of these long nose cars. Most of them are done like this, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. What year is this car? I don't know. The gentleman drove this up from Louisiana to uh, to see the build that's happening today. Well, can't walk by any RWB car, so we scrolled off three times. Now let's go see it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, you are watching a master at work. Today, hopefully, hopefully right? It runs and drives, yeah, it should be driving today. 
sound. Uh, so it was, how many miles were on the car? Start with a uh, short mile car or high mile it's car? It's a 70, I think 76,000, 77,000. Okay, so, good yeah. car. It's, it's a runner, it's a driver, it's not a conflict. I was asking well, Stuart earlier, is the cage out of like a club sport car? Or is it no, no, it's a uh, DOS. DOS, yeah. okay. Yeah, auto sport, they make that. Um, how about the seats? The seats are grids out okay. of Japan. Okay. Um, they're they're racing, so they're, they're a little rough for daily driving probably. I got a set of Recaros and maybe I'll that's all right. out. <laughs> but, uh, Real men drive race cars. Have you sat in those seats there? Yeah, they're made yeah. for about your body Yeah, right? I like it. Anybody I, a little little wider, they can afford no, no, these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, Alan, congrats. Oh, thank you, sir. Nice well, to meet you. Years, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Great car. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Got it. So this is Stewart's driver. Yeah, you stepped it up, didn't you? I did, I did. I kind of I fell into a, a, a good deal on this thing. Uh, second owner, but it's got all the carbon fiber on the exterior. It's tech art. Okay. Uh, and then it's got a... Uh, what year is it? It is a uh, Dot 2. Okay. 2000... Uh, it's got a in here. So the color of this car is chalk, which is a really neat color. It's a 9. That is killer. Yeah, it's fun. It makes some good sound. So how many miles are on your other Porsche Daily Driver? Listen yeah, to this. Yeah, so I wish it was here. It is <laughs> rolling 274,000 miles. <laughs> i get you some of that. i get you some of this. The original IMS bearing, everybody. <laughs> Still in it. Yes. Uh, original motor and obviously new clutch. We won't all get into all of that myth. It's kind of like you got to change your belts on Ferrari every... Yeah. 10 years or 10,000 miles? I think it's because it's a, it's a three pedal car. So it gets driven. And uh, motors are happier when they get driven. 270,000 so. miles on the original IMS bearing. Yeah. 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 It's my daily driver. Just need to keep uh, running. Yeah. I do about 50 miles a day, Monday through Friday. But uh, yeah, this one, this That's is beautiful. This thing could last, yeah. I've tracked it a few times. He's got 6,000 miles on it. Just now broke in. That's <laughs> awesome. So Stuart, interesting enough, is the one that taught Kelsey how to drive on the track. Yeah. Natural talent. Yeah, she's yeah, good. She's she? good. Yeah. Yeah. She's not scared. Where did she get that from? I don't know. <laughs> not scared of anything when it comes to a car, right? No. But it's speed. All right. So we're at the Bradley Hotel, one of our favorite places to stay while we're in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're here for the Worldwide Auction, which has got 32 cars. You know, Alex brought four, and I've got a smash burger for breakfast. Excellent. Two hamburger patties with an egg over easy on top. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. Looks a little egg over hard to me. Outstanding. We got our. I've got a turkey, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And there's a lot of glutens in this one. <laughs> I should get a traditional breakfast. I did with bacon. Yep. So did Zach. So there you have it. There's a the food segment for the day. It's actually really good. As always, please like, share, and follow. And most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.